Elderly grandparents flying home from Florida to see family, but instead of landing in Grand Rapids, they touched down in a tiny airport on the New York Ontario border and then were sent back to Fort Lauderdale. 24 Hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz is in studio with this bizarre story you'll only see on 8. Sarah? Well, when 97 year old Helen Weaker and her husband landed, they knew that they were not in the right place. And now, after a long journey, they're still not in Grand Rapids, but they're being good sports about it. Relatives dropped off Helen Weaker and her husband, George Noble, at the Fort Lauderdale Airport, believing that they were in good hands. But little did they know, Grandma and Grandpa were leaving on the wrong jet plane. We didn't know what happened. It was a big mystery. So we had the typical day on the plane, reading, snacking, dozing, and we were looking forward to a 5 o'clock arrival in Grand Rapids. And we even pointed out the snow patches. But Helen and her husband were far from it in Ogdensburg, New York, a small airport that only has a handful of flights each day. So what happened? Um, my understanding is that they were by themselves at, uh, at a gate in a gate area and that because of a, um, a glitch with our boarding pass scanner um, that they accidentally were um, got onto the wrong flight. The gate right next door to the Grand Rapids flight was a flight to Ogdensburg. The two were in wheelchairs. Something got lost in translation and Allegiant Air says its contracted employees wheeled them onto the wrong flight. And because Ogdensburg is so remote, there wasn't a flight out that night to Grand Rapids. And so Allegiant flew them right back where they came from. So we definitely acknowledge that there were some issues there, um, you know, and, and we really very much apologize. So imagine two, two uh, elderly people in wheelchairs getting wheeled on the wrong plane, sent across the United States and then sent back. So it was quite an ordeal. I really didn't want to go right back where it came from. It's a little late for me to do that. And Allegiant Air is refunding Helen and her husband and is looking into the glitch. The couple is also set to fly to Grand Rapids on Saturday. Boy, I don't know how my grandparents would take that. No. no. Boy, 97. They certainly don't need the extra miles, right? I mean, they were good on that end. They were right, <laughs> right. And the grandson was also telling me that, you know, they have a lot of pills and a lot of things yeah. that they have to take, doctor's appointments. Oh, of course, yeah. So, All quite right. a journey for this. An adventure. Two. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. A lot of